Here we go, take it down into forearm plank. Elbows underneath the shoulders, go up on your toes, bring your hips down. Think length through the spine. Tuck in your abdominals and breathe. Then take it over onto one side, one elbow. Drop the bottom knee down to the floor if you want, or keep it up. Top hand can be on the hip or reaching up, and then you're going to drop your hip down and tuck up using the obliques to lift. Lift, up, up, keep going. And then bring it center and move to the other side. Same thing, bottom knee can be down on the ground. Top hand can be on the hip or reaching up. And drop that hip down and lift. Down, lift, down, tuck in, tuck in. Now go ahead and bring it back to the center. Get yourself aligned again. I'm going to be lifting one foot at a time, alternate, lift, lift, keep going and as you're doing this, tighten the glutes, abs are fully engaged, press down through the elbows, now you're lifting the hips, lift, abs are tucking in, this is a great thing to do when you're in plank to Engage the abs a little bit more, and also if your back is getting tired. Up, and now bring it down, and stretch. Congratulations, you just did two minutes in plank position with different variations. Now you're turning on your back. Hands are going underneath the bottom of your rear end and you're going to drop one foot at a time from this v position keep your abdominals tucked in and drop drop the other leg and switch and switch keep going and adjust the height of your legs as you need to if you want to make it a little harder you can cross your arms on your chest but just make sure you have those abdominals in. Now you have your hands out to the sides and knees are dropping to the side and lifting up. Dropping to the other side and lifting up. Slow descent and slow lift up. Slow descent and slow lift up. Knees are over the hips, not over the chest. And if you want to make it harder, you can reach up towards the ceiling with both hands. Think lots of control while you're doing this. Don't go down as far. If you need to, back off a little bit so you maintain good control. And bring it down. Now we're going into a bridge. So lift up and you want to keep your hips level. And you're lifting one foot at a time. Everything is working super hard right now. Your glutes and your back extensors are engaged to hold you up and your abdominals are helping you keep your hips level as you lift. If you want to make it a little harder, a little more challenging, Take those arms and cross them on your chest. Make sure you keep breathing. And the majority of your weight here is pressing through the shoulders and upper back, not through the neck. And of course, down through the feet. And bring it down. 
Go ahead and bring your knees into your chest and relax. Feet down and knees to one side, arms to the other. Stretching the obliques here. And other side, stretching the obliques. And then you're going to roll over on your tummy, bring it up on your elbows and stretch out again. Very nice job. You worked your rectus abdominis, transverse abdominals, and obliques with that workout. 